Submission to God is the key to eradicate doubt in our lives and to walk in faith fully. James chapter 4 verses 6 and 7, but he gives more grace. Therefore he says, God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Therefore submit to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Look at that. So the key is we need to humble ourselves. Now, how do we humble ourselves? By submitting to God, saying, have your will, Lord. I want to lay myself as a living sacrifice. Have your way in this matter. Have your way in my life. Have your way in this challenge that I'm facing in. And, and that's the way we submit ourselves. And then God's going to send you his word. And you're going to, your, your faith is going to spark up. You're going to believe what he sends. And I tell you, and that's the way that you're going to have your healing. You're going to have your breakthrough. Now, later on, after Jesus has died, resurrected and gone to heaven, after the day of Pentecost, in Acts, we see how Peter and John go to the temple and they are able to uh, perform a healing by the power of God to a man who has been so lame and he was sitting in that gate called beautiful. And uh, what did they tell this lame man? In Acts chapter 3, verse 6, Then Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Now verse 8 says, So he leaping up stood and walked and entering, enter the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. Amen. So that was a miracle that happened through Peter and John. Now, there was a great crowd that gathered, thinking that these people have healed this lame man, which was true. But what did Peter say in verse 12? So when Peter saw it, he responded to the people, men of Israel, why do you marvel at this? Why you look so intently at us as though by our own power a godliness we had made this man walk and he openly says it is not by our own power or godliness but Jesus of Nazareth has healed this lame man what a maturity and we can understand from reading the book of Acts later on even Peter need not touch people his very shadow healed so many sick people and God says through his word submit and then faith will work and what can happen is far beyond your comprehension